Smells like race gas. So uh, we got Project 200. We're gonna take it and get an alignment. Um, it just snowed, but the roads are pretty clear now. So uh, we're gonna take it into the town, get an alignment done on the car, so we know everything is ready to go for Texas 2K here in just about four or five days now. Uh, is when we're gonna be leaving. So we're gonna hop in the car, do a few checks, and drive it across town to get it aligned. So we'll take you guys along with us. So I ended up programming into the dash to make sure that it uh, the shift lights work. As soon as he breaks like 2,000 RPM, the shift light starts blinking and stuff now. So now I can go ahead and raise it up and uh, go from there. I don't know why they're not all lighting up though. I got to figure that out. All but four. All but four. Yeah. It's the, so it's kind of goofy, but we'll figure it out. Every every time, making a little bit more progress on it, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can set those up as warnings and then the inside you can like set it up to go across or whatever But we figure just be best if just it alerts us when it should signal the shifter to automatically shift So if that signals and this doesn't shift he knows that he needs to manually shift it for whatever reason if something goes wrong or the CO2 bottle gets left off or whatever So we'll head into town here and go get the car aligned just a uh, street car in it, even though there's some junk on the road and stuff, so hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess. Oh, there's the front balance. See that. <laughs> Breaking in that uh, front balance, good. All right, so we made it to the alignment shop. We're gonna get it pulled in here onto the rack and uh, see how far off the garage alignment is. Uh, car seems to do pretty well, so I don't think it's going to be too bad, but uh, we're going to find out here in a minute. Right, guys so we ended up getting the uh carl line something that seems to always be a uh <laughs> issue that we have is cars that have these wheel wells getting these rear uh little i guess measurement tools or whatever you call these here the chocks into the wheel uh but we ended up getting it thanks to rick and those these guys here um but the car is all aligned it actually was super close what'd you guys adjust on it just a little bit of toe just a little bit of toe is that what it needed? 6,400 to a degree. So just a little bit of toe of adjustment and uh, otherwise everything else fell in. So should be good to go. And uh, we'll go ahead and get it back home. All right, Greg. I really do appreciate it. Anytime, buddy. All right, guys. So we're going to fire the car up, get it out of here. Thanks to Rick and Nick from uh, Frank Moore's Alignment. We appreciate these guys. Every time we got a uh, fun car to play with, they're the ones that do the alignment on it. So we definitely appreciate them. We still got a dang tail light out in the Buick. We gotta figure that out. So, uh, otherwise guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. So if you would, please like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment below, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See you next time.